Hey everyone, Old School Pokemon here. So, today is May 2nd, 2020, and I figured it's time to go ahead and show you my eBay sales for April of 2020. Um, if you watched my previous video where I went over quarter one 2020, um, I wasn't actually sure how you guys would react to those types of videos. I uh, wasn't sure if it'd be a popular type of video, just kind of reviewing numbers and whatnot. Um, but you guys actually seem to really like that video, so I'm definitely planning to continue this series. Um, from here on out, it'll be month by month, uh, so we'll be able to kind of go in more depth as to what I'm actually selling throughout the month. Uh, we'll go over a few of my cooler sales, but it's definitely something I'm going to continue every month uh, from here on out. So for this video, today is May 2nd, 2020, like I said, we're going to be going over the sales for April 2020, and we'll jump right into it here. So as you can see, um, in my, my eBay portion, um, where you can review your sales, um, April 2020 was a huge month for me. Uh, as you can see right here, or first off, we'll go here. So I got it set for April 1st, 2020 through April 30th, 2020. So the entire month of April, um, huge month for me, like I was saying, $23,893.65 worth of sales throughout the month of April. Um, I thought I was going to be able to break 25000 when we got towards the end of April, and I saw on my dashboard that I was approaching 20000 We didn't quite meet that, but still an incredible month of sales. Um, a lot better than the previous month, which was March 2020. Um, as you can see, uh, almost a 60% increase from March. This is this is comparing it to March, March 2nd through March 31st right here. So definitely a whole lot better than the month of March. Uh, real exciting month for purchase or uh, um, sales. Um, incredible amount of sales uh, this month. Not many purchases though. So that's that's a little that's a little scary right there. A lot more sales and purchases. But we'll go ahead and break it down. Uh, so as you can see, we got this normal little spreadsheet right here again. Um, so starting off, um, eBay sales for April 2020. Like I said, $23,893.65. All of my expenses right here, so we got our eBay fees, um, they're taking 12%. Um, PayPal fees, they're taking 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. And Disha postage, that's the postage program that I use to print off my actual shipping labels. So anything that I send with tracking, that's what this, this Indicia postage means. Um, stamp postage, all the PWE orders. And then my postage scale fee, that's my fee to use this program right here. So all of those expenses added up to $6,608.55. One note that I wanted to make here, um, I received a few comments in my previous video about um, why I don't include refunds within this money out. Uh, basically for me, um, I'm not sending too, too many refunds. Um, for the most part, any refunds that I do send are involving PWE orders, people claiming that they never received their package. Sure, some of those cases are true. Um, I believe the majority of them are just people trying to get a free card, which if you know the eBay system and you want to take advantage of it, you can get that option. Um, definitely not something that I recommend, but, um, but yeah. So for the most part, all of my refunds are PWE orders. They're cheaper cards. Plus, I'm only getting one or two every week. So that's uh, four to eight every month. And they're all on orders of less than $10. So you're talking maybe 100 bucks a month um, in refunds. So I don't include that within this little spreadsheet right here because I like to make it simplified. Uh, this is just for my personal use. I have another spreadsheet that goes more in detail for my tax use uh, but I like I like looking at these ones I've got the nice little graph set up here uh, everything's all nice and color coded the other the other the other spreadsheet I use takes a lot of this information adds a little bit more information but it doesn't look as pretty so that's why I like to use these these spreadsheets for this video so uh, there's my little little spiel on that for you so as you can see uh, total expenses for the month six thousand six hundred eight dollars and fifty five cents getting down into my purchases for the month of April really didn't purchase a whole lot in terms of resale product Pokemon cards to sell within my eBay store. Uh, these first two purchases right here are both eBay purchases. Um, these are actually both just shipping supplies, um, plain white envelopes, and um, a few boxes and packing peanuts um, is this one right here. 
These next few purchases, these PayPal purchases, uh, you saw most of these purchases within that, um, within that most re I think it was my most recent video where I went over a few of my purchases for the month of April. That's what most of this money right here is for. Uh, obviously there's a few that I didn't show you like this thousand dollar purchase. I didn't show you that one. Um, I showed you this $400 purchase. I showed you this $500 purchase and I showed you this $45 purchase. Uh, so those were the purchases that you saw within that video. I didn't go over all of them uh, just because there's this one was a lot of just bulk cards. Uh, nothing too exciting within that one. Um, so yeah, there's all those purchases via PayPal. Um, any of the things that I purchased via PayPal, so all six of these purchases, these, this is all stuff that I found off Facebook, um, whether that be Facebook Marketplace or the Pokemon Facebook groups. So I am definitely finding a lot more product uh, for resale on Facebook as opposed to eBay, but it's really becoming tough to find resale product. Um, really haven't found much um, over the course of April and now getting into May. Really, really haven't found much, although I am going to be purchasing a whole bunch of modern product and I am probably going to purchase another uh, bigger Japanese collection, which I'm real excited about. And I'll definitely share that with you if it does work out, which I do think it will. But anyway, uh, for this video, um, those are my purchases via PayPal. Uh, the Boxery purchase number one, that's just my shipping, more of my shipping supplies. So all of my bubble mailers and bubble wrap. Uh, Vistaprint, that's where I get my business cards from. So I did do another order of business cards. Uh, so that's what that amount is right there. This one right here, the one I skipped over, this is probably my most exciting purchase of the month of April and something that I'm really looking forward to um, going forward. So Mad Al is actually my distributor for Pokemon cards for modern Pokemon product. Um, so as you can tell, I made a fairly, fairly big purchase through them. Uh, this is actually just purchase number one of two. So I decided to get back into modern product. So this purchase right here um, was just confirmed the other day, March, uh, I'm sorry, April 30th. Um, it's still in transit to me, so I still haven't received it. But this is a whole bunch of um, Rebel Clash product. I ordered three cases of booster boxes, four cases of, or four display cases of theme decks, and 20... 25 elite trainer boxes um, for all for Rebel Clash. And I'm going to start getting back into modern product. The other portion of this purchase um, is actually going to be the Hidden Fates reprint of the Hidden Fates tins. So I ordered 10 cases of those tins. Um, each case contains, I think it's 12 tins per case. Um, so a whole bunch of those cases. And then um, I actually purchased some more Evolutions booster ba uh, booster box cases. I think I purchased three cases of Evolutions. Uh, but anyway, those those haven't those haven't been processed yet. Those haven't been shipped yet. So that's not on for this month. Um, so that's just the the Rebel Clash product that I purchased. Real excited to get back into modern. Uh, I think it'll be a good good little experiment there. Uh, now that I know more of what I'm doing. But anyway, uh, getting back into this video. So all my ex all my purchases for the month added up to six thousand two hundred and seventy dollars and forty six cents. So you take your 23,893.65, subtract your 6,600, subtract your 6,200, and you're left with a profit for the month of April 2020, $11,014.64. Uh, $11, Absolutely an incredible month. I don't think I've ever had a profit of this amount. Um, and that's mostly to do with I wasn't able to find much to purchase. I normally like to make a lot more purchases so that my profit for the month is a lot less. Um, but yeah, so April 2020, huge profit, real excited about that. Um, but let's go ahead and get back, or one more thing I did want to mention. So the Indicia postage and the stamp postage. So the stamp postage, um, we'll figure 50 cents a stamp. So if you do 50 cents times 325.30, you get about uh, 400 and, or I'm sorry, 600, we'll call it 600 stamps. So 600 PWE orders uh, were shipped out in the month of April, um, roughly. Then we'll come over here and we'll look at my Indicia account. And as you can see, for the month of April, so we did April 2020, we shipped out 430 packages. This was the total cost of those shipments. So if you do 430, 
plus 600, you're, you get a total of 1,030 packages for the month of April. Um, obviously, that's just a rough count there. But if you take the total sales, $23,893.65, divide it by the total number of packages, 1,030, you're left with an average sale price of $23.20. Um, that's lower than the last one I did back in the, the first video. Um, that was up closer to $30, which was a, which is definitely a lot higher than what I think my average is. I really don't keep track of that figure, but um, this $23.20 seems to be about my average order size. Obviously, I do receive a lot of orders less than that, a lot of orders more than that. But for the most part, um, my average order, I believe, is around 20 bucks. So that makes sense for this month. I um, wanted to share that with you guys right there. And then, as you can see right here, I zoomed this way in, um, just so you don't see the actual buyer's name and username. Um, so this is my um, all my orders for the month, month of April. As you can say, see, I have it set up for last month, which is April. Um, it's showing 1,195 total orders for the month of April, equating to the same amount of sales. So what this means is I sold 11, uh, 1,195 different orders, so different PayPal transactions. Unfortunately, though, that's not my total order count, um, because you do have people who purchase one card and then immediately purchase another card and then immediately purchase another card. So I'm shipping out all their orders within one package, but they're, order, they're purchasing those cards in separate orders, if that makes any sense. So this 1195 probably isn't accurate. It is probably closer to 1000. Um, so there's that information right there for you. Um, I thought that was kind of cool to keep track of, um, just a little bit of additional information for you. Um, I like I like to keep track of those, or I've never really kept track of those numbers, but I think it's I think it's kind of something I might continue to do um, from here on out. So now let's talk about a few of my bigger eBay sales for the month of April. Um, this first one right here, the Japanese Top Sun set. So this one was actually a real good sale. I was real excited about this one. Um, I listed this on eBay back, I, I forget the time frame, but I listed it on eBay. It sat on eBay for a couple weeks. This is the entire set, um, all 150 cards of the Japanese Top Sun set. Um, you get all 150 cards and it's all of these greenback cards. So this set's in near mint to mint condition. There were a few cards that were in excellent condition, but I listed it on eBay for $1,000 or best offer. It sat on eBay for a couple weeks without many offers. Um, I'm not sure if I even received any offers on this item. I might have received a few real low offers, but um, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure if I received how many, how many offers I actually received. I don't think I received much. But anyway, um, I would do send out um, best offers to people offering 20% off for this, this item plus everything else that I was um, sending those offers for, which equated to $800 um, for this set. Nobody nobody jumped on it. And then I actually had someone um, come along and offer me, I believe he offered $850 um, for the set, which was real tempting to accept because like I said, I was sending offers to people saying that I'd accept 800. But because he offered 850, I thought I'd counter offer him 900, and he immediately accepted that. So that sale was $900 plus shipping because it was going international. So he paid $914 for that item. So real good sale right there. Um, and then as you can see, my my cost for selling or my fees for selling that item 122.89, my profit um, 791.61. Next up, uh, this was a quick sale. This was a real quick sale right here. So as you can see, these were the Japanese VS booster packs or half decks that I showed you within my last video. Um, the booster packs that I said, I wasn't quite sure whether or not I wanted to sell. Um, basically, I decided to list them on eBay. Um, I listed them real high. Like I said, I paid 300, I believe I paid 300 or $350 for these three booster packs, um, all three of them. What we did was, or what I did was, um, 
I valued these two right here, so the psychic energy and the grass energy. Um, I valued those two packs at about $150 a piece. So you're looking at $300 for those two packs. Plus I valued the fire energy um, pack at about, um, what did I say? I said two, 250 um, somewhere. No, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, two, 250 around there. Uh, so you got 150 for these two plus 250 for this one. So you're looking at $300 for these two plus 450-ish for the set of three. So what I did was I listed it on eBay for 750 your best offer, uh, which is definitely a lot higher than what I thought I could get. Um, I wasn't expecting to sell these at that price point, but um, immediately after listing, I actually received a few best offers from people who were really interested. They were both offering around $500. Um, I kind of held firm at $600 because there aren't many of these at all available on eBay. Uh, there's hardly any within the US. There's not much sales data to go off of. So I held firm at $600 for the set, um, which I thought was, I'd, I'd, be will, I'd be willing to sell um, at that price point if someone were willing to pay that price point. And fortunately, someone did uh, purchase this at $600. So this is $631.80 because of the eBay tax or the, the tax that they charge on the buyers. Um, so that was another real nice sale. Real glad to have that one gone. Um, real good profit on that one. You don't, you don't see a 50, 45, 50% profit on booster packs like that very often. So that was a real exciting sale right there. This next one. So this isn't one sale. This is all that I sold throughout the month of April. Um, so I wanted to actually make a video on these, um, a while ago. I just never got around to it when I actually when I actually purchased these. Um, I wanted to make a video on it but I never did and now I have a lot fewer so it wouldn't be as exciting as a video. Uh, if we can get this to load I'll be able to show you but basically oh, of course it's not gonna load. So basically what this is is let me try and go to my eBay and we'll talk about this one and then we'll uh, talk about one more and we'll end the video. Um, so we'll do or actually it's in this category right here. So what I want to talk to you about are these guys right here. Um, of course, I don't have one available right now. But so we'll, we'll focus on this one. Uh, what this is, this is a fossil set storage box. Um, it's just an empty storage box that holds a whole bunch of cards. Um, I say it holds about 450 cards. Um, and of course, it's not going to load. So anyway, you're not going to be able to see that. But um, there's that. Basically what this is, it's an empty storage box that Wizards of the Coast made up for the release of the Fossil. Uh, they made one for the release of Base, Fossil, and Team Rocket, as far as I'm aware. Basically it's just an empty storage box um, that I've been selling on eBay. I used to sell them for um, $15 a best offer. I'd accept a best offer of $12.50. But for the fossil, I'm actually running a bit low. I only have about 25 of the fossil left. Uh, so I upped my price to $25 and I've been selling a few at that price point. Um, been selling a few at that price point. I'm going back to my sales for the month of April. Um, so as you can see, I've so I sold 33. This is between, this is now between April 2nd and May 2nd. So just about the whole month of April. But as you can see, I sold 33 um, for a total of $427.20. So those are selling real well right now on eBay. Um, both that and the Team Rocket um, storage box. But um, I wanted to make a video on that a while ago and kind of talk about that one. That was probably, this is probably one of the best purchases that I've made in a long time. Um, this was actually, I might actually have it. Uh, let me, let me show you this one and we'll, we'll just kind of end the video after this one. Um, cause I think this is getting to be a little long here. So as you can see, this, these are, um, some of my purchases for the month of this, this is going back to 2019. Um, uh, but I'll give you the story on this. Um, if you guys are interested. So back in June of 2019, I actually saw these bundles of storage boxes listed on Blowout Cards eBay store. 
Uh, this is the base, what the base set bundle of storage boxes look like. This is what the Fossil looks like, and this is what the Team Rocket looks like. So I saw these listed on eBay. Uh, they had them listed, I believe the base was listed for about $175 a bundle. The Fossil was listed for about $125, and the Team Rocket was listed for about $100. I initially just wanted to get one bundle of each to kind of make a cool little display within my display case. So I figured I'd buy a bundle of each to make that display. I offered them these prices, which they accepted. So $100 on the base, $100 on the fossil, and $75 on the Team Rocket. I then got to doing a little bit of digging um, immediately after they accepted these, these offers. So they haven't even shipped them yet. I got to do a little bit of digging and looking up what these boxes actually sold for on eBay. And I saw the base was selling for about $25 a piece. The fossil, there was like one seller selling them for uh, like $15 a piece. And then the Team Rocket, I didn't see anyone actually selling the individual boxes on eBay. Um, so I'm looking at this as a possible resale purchase um, at this point. They did have multiple quantities of each of these boxes listed within these listings themselves. So I actually reached out to uh, Blow Up Cards and asked them if they'd consider a bulk deal if I purchased multiple uh, bundles of these of these boxes. We went back and forth a little bit and they finally agreed to sell me um, a few of the bundles. So I believe I got uh, I got 10 of the base bundles, 10 of the Team Rocket bundles, and 5 of the Fossil bundles for $2,000. Um, I forget the breakdown of the costs right right now, but it was it was it was real cheap. I believe I was paying I think it was like 5 Five to seven dollars on the base boxes, um, three to four on the Team Rocket and Fossil boxes. It was it was real cheap, so I purchased those. Um, they canceled these three orders right here and just added it into this order right here. So I purchased those um, and they shipped those out to me, and I started breaking them down. So I'd open the the actual packaging right here, and I'd sell the individual boxes. I was selling the Fossil for um, fifteen dollars or best offer. I was doing the Team Rocket for $15 or best offer, and I was doing the base set for $25 or best offer, I believe. I believe those were my starting price points. Um, I was selling the base set real well. I was selling the Fossil set real well. The Team Rocket was moving slowly, but it was moving consistently. So I'm starting to sell these, uh, starting to realize that there is definitely money to be made within these, within these storage boxes. So... The the one of the one of the people who work at Blowout Cards actually sends me a message a um, little while later, and says if you're interested, we have a few more um, base, a few more fossil, and a decent amount more of the Team Rocket storage boxes. If you're interested, we'd be willing to give you a good deal if you bought us out of these storage boxes and free up space within our warehouse. So I said. Well, okay, um, can you give me a quantity of how many you have available and what kind of price point you'd be willing to sell these at? So they said, okay, um, this was maybe Thursday, Friday. Um, they said, okay, uh, give us till Monday. I'll send you some pictures then of what we have available and we can go from there. So I said, okay, perfect. So I'm thinking maybe I'll make another purchase like these, like this, and um, I'll be able to make some decent money off of it. Well, Monday comes, and I actually receive this picture right here. I wish I could, I don't know if I can, I don't, I can't expand it at all. But these are, this is, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is 12 cases of Team Rocket bundles. So each case contains 12 bundles of these Team Rocket storage boxes. Each bundle contains 12 boxes. So within each of these cases, you're looking at 144 boxes of these Team Rocket storage boxes. In addition to that, there were, I want to say like 25 more base set bundles and maybe 10 more um, fossil set bundles. So there wasn't too many of the base and fossil, but there was a huge amount of Team Rocket. Um... They sent me that, they sent me the total quantity and said, what would you, what would you offer if we sold everything together? Um, 
So I looked at this and said, well, I really can't, I really can't afford to purchase all of these Team Rocket storage boxes. Um, I just, I just can't justify spending that much money on the same product, which is going to take me forever to sell. So I was initially thinking, well, maybe I'll grab half of the cases. I'd grab six cases plus the remainder base and fossil inventory. I actually reached back out and said, would you consider offering me a bulk discount if I purchased six cases with the base and fossil inventory? Just because I don't think I could purchase all of your cases. Uh, that's a little bit much. Obviously, if you're not interested in that and you want to sell everything together, I'd completely understand. They did get back to me and said they'd, um, they would offer me half the cases plus the base and fossil. They understood that this was a lot of quantity. Um, so they were willing to work with me. But I actually thought... I would reach out to Rusty at TCA Gaming um, just to kind of get his input to see if he was interested in going in with me on the Team Rocket portion of the purchase. I definitely wanted the base and fossil, but I was willing to split the Team Rocket with him. Uh, so I reached out to him, told him about this deal. Uh, he said he was interested if the, if the price was right. Um, so we ended up purchasing all of the, I ended up purchasing all the base, all the fossil, um, plus half of the Team Rocket. Um, and I sent, I sold him the other half, uh, for the same price that I got it for. Um, so he got half, I got half, and we were able to purchase all those storage boxes. So this purchase was $2,000. This purchase was $72, $72.22, um, for all the, all the storage boxes. I've already sold out of all the base, um, storage boxes. I actually did a bulk deal with, um, with someone to, who wanted all of the bundles of the base. So I sold him the majority. Um, I kept a few for myself, and then I sold the remainder on eBay. Um, the fossil boxes, I'm almost sold out of those. Uh, like I said, I kept two bundles of each, uh, base, fossil, and team rocket for myself. So base, I'm completely sold out of at this point. Um, I was selling them at, um, I did the, the bundle deal, or the, the bulk deal of the base. Um, I believe I did that for $15 a box. Uh, but for the most part, aside from that, I was selling them at $25 a box. And then when I got towards the end, when I had maybe my last 10 to, to 20 boxes, I upped to pr the price to $47.50. And they were still selling real slow, um, between $30, $35, maybe $40. Bucks. So those ones did real well. The Fossil, like I said, I'm almost sold out of these. I probably have about 20 at this point. Um, those ones I'm selling at $15. I'll accept the best offer at $12.50. Again, selling real well. And the Team Rocket, I still have a, I still have four cases of Team Rocket left. Um, but again, consistently selling between $12.50 and $15 a piece. Um, so this was an awesome, 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 awesome retail purchase. Um, definitely don't see these kinds of purchases uh, very often. But anyway, um, sorry for the rant there if you weren't really interested in that, in that purchase alone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Um, next month, maybe I won't get a sidetracked and we can actually talk about some, a few more of my different, different purchases, but I did want to mention that about those, both those, uh, storage boxes for everyone to, everyone to see, um, or at least hear about. But again, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. I actually don't have a timer here to see how long this video is. Hopefully it's not too long, but, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think, and I will do this again for May of 2020. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed have a good day.